Good morning friends. Today I begin the 16th day of my climate fast. Well, I have been surviving on just water and some salts and that is taking a toll finally. Yesterday and today I have been feeling quite low on energy. And of course it's uh, cold in the open. Last night it was minus 8 degrees and some 120 people were sleeping with me out in the open on this fast. Today let me take you through some similar fasts in the past and see the sensitivity of governments towards such genuine people's movements. In 2011, Anna Hazariji, during the India Against Corruption movement, sat on a fast unto death for the anti-corruption bill, the Lokpal bill to be passed in the parliament. And by the 13th day of his fast, the parliament unanimously passed the Lokpal bill and he happily ended his fast. That was the sensitivity of the government then. In fact, it was from the movement for India against corruption that the current government of BJP rose to power in 2014. And of course, we must expect the highest standards of truth and justice from themselves. Then in 1986, my own father sat on a fast unto death for the rights of the tribal indigenous people of Ladakh. On the 16th day of his fast, then Prime Minister Mrs. Gandhi flew from Delhi to Ladakh and broke his fast with a glass of juice. Later, they fulfilled the demands. This again shows the sensitivity of governments to people's movements. And in five days, it will be my 21st day of fast, which will be the same as Mahatma Gandhi's longest two fasts, one in 1933 for the tribes and castes of India and once in 1943 during the Quit India movement. 21 days was his longest fast and we hope that by then the government will respond. Then there is also the story of Pottishri Ramalu, who in 1952 sat on a fast unto death for the creation of Andhra Pradesh out of Madras Presidency. Unfortunately, he died after 58 days of his fast and the insensitivity of the government of Pandit Nehru was that they didn't fulfill it while he was alive but three days after his death when huge riots broke out he accepted the demands and gave the decision to create Andhra Pradesh so sometimes death is one of the possible results but such people do not worry as long as the cause is met. If it takes that for us Ladakhis then so be it, we'll do that and I can extend my fast after 21 days if it comes to that because this is now not just something about Ladakh, it is as much about defending truth and justice, defending the whole process of elections and promises made by political leaders during elections. You all know that the ruling party had pledged to Ladakh to safeguard it under the sixth schedule of the constitution, not once but twice in two major elections and they won heavily based on those pledges in their manifestos. And today, if they don't keep it and go scot-free, 
it will set the worst precedence for all elections to come. It will make a joke of elections and promises based on which people trust and vote for governments. So it is not just Ladakh's responsibility, but yours to, to add to our voice and make it reach the governments. I am not sure our voice has still reached the Prime Minister because I really believe that he believes in truth and justice and will still keep his promises. I have not lost hope on this nation. Thank you very much and have a great day. I'll try to keep strong and alive, even if not kicking. Jai Hind.